What's up YouTube? Welcome to a new video. It's been a while. I know. But I'm back and it's time to continue the series on my path to a PhD in physics. Uh, I already started with the freshman year. I made that video. You can check it out here. Uh, and now it's time to continue with the sophomore year. So let me start by listing the courses that I took in my fall semester of sophomore years. So the first course I took was Intro to Biology, which covered just the basics of all areas of biology, right? We learned about the citric acid cycle or cell division and, uh, you know, mitosis, meiosis. We learned about the basics of evolution, the basics of ecology. So basically touching upon the basics of everything in biology. And I already knew most of it from high school, so it was, it was a fun class, uh, but it wasn't anything too fancy. All right, the second class was a math class. I took linear algebra. Uh, not So there are two forms of linear algebra. There's linear algebra plus differential equations, and that is usually taken by um, chemistry majors, engineering majors, uh, sometimes even physics majors. It's just a combination if you're not doing a math minor or a math major. But since I declared a math minor by, by this time, uh, I chose to, to, to take linear algebra, just the course that specializes in linear algebra. And this course, you know, it goes through uh, all the basics, all everything you need to know in linear algebra from, uh, you know, Gaussian elimination, row reduction, stuff like that, all the way up to um, linear transformations and how those work. And so when I took this course, I had already seen Three Blue One Brown's uh, great, great, great uh, series where he just goes through the visualizations and what it all means. So I had the intuition going into to, to class, but I didn't have the mechanics set. I didn't understand how to actually work out a problem in linear algebra. So when I took the course, um, it was a great, uh, great way to just learn it after having watched the Three Blue One Brown series. So that was fantastic. I had no problem with linear. It was, it was a great time. And it was a fun class. I learned quite a lot. The third course I took was modern physics. And um, some universities have this course, others don't. But basically, it's a course that gives you gives you the first taste, the first flavor of um, special relativity, quantum mechanics, particle physics, nuclear physics. It's just, it touches upon all these uh, subjects without ever diving deep into any particular one. So in my, in my modern physics course, we started off with special relativity, and then we moved on to quantum mechanics, but just, just the basics, you know, what's the wave function? What's the infinite square well? How do you find the energy states? And then we moved on to uh, some stat mech. We learned, actually, when I, when I learned stat mech in that class, I was completely confused. I didn't understand anything. And um, I don't think I can blame myself because you can't learn stat mech in a modern physics course. You need, you need a stat mech course, but that's beside the point. Um, we also learned some particle physics. That was uh, some fun to learn, you know, the standard model particles and how we have to conserve all these quantities in order for a reaction to happen. And then we, we had some nuclear physics, nuclear decays, all that stuff. Uh, and, you know, this was, this was a really fun course. I really liked it. But here's the thing. Now that I look back at it, I realized that, you know, for a physics major, I don't know if it was that useful because, you know, I, learning special relativity, I'm going to learn it in electrodynamics. Uh, learning quantum mechanics, there's a whole separate course for that. You know, learning stat mech, there's a whole separate course for that. Particle physics, there's a whole separate course for that. So I don't know how useful it was to take this course. Uh, it felt more like more like a wasting time than it is actually helpful. But maybe if you're a minor in physics, if you uh, are interested, maybe you want to major in physics, you're not, you don't know yet. This course is a good course, I'd say. But for someone who is already majoring in physics, it seemed like a waste, a waste of time in hindsight. Now, when you're taking modern physics, there's always the lab portion that you have to take as well. And there we, we learned MATLAB uh, and we used it to do data analysis. Um, and we did some, some fun experiments like uh, measuring the uh, charge to mass ratio or measuring the index of refraction of air using uh, the Michelson-Morley type experiment with the, with the lasers and the, you know, the beam splitter and the mirrors and stuff like that. So it was a fun, fun lab to take. Uh, but again, like I said about the course, I don't know how useful it is for physics majors. All right, the last course I took in my fall semester was electronics. And if you saw the uh, live stream I did with uh, Andrew and Kyle, you probably heard me say that this was the least favorite course that I took. Uh, and that is that is true. I did say that and I still go by it. Um, because when I took this course, it, it just didn't click for me. It didn't make sense when I was learning analog electronics. It took me a while to understand how an op amp works and uh, you know how to actually solve problems with it and we spent a lot of time on analog electronics. We didn't really do that much digital electronics until the end of the course, 
But to me, I thought digital electronics were the more important part because nowadays uh, a, lot of, a lot of the electronics are based on digital. Uh, and also the, the teaching style was not uh, great. We didn't learn that much. I had to teach myself a lot of things. Uh, but at the same time, the books that we used and the resources that I was finding did not really help. So it was, it was, not, it was not a fun class at all. But on the flip side, there was a lab portion. And when I took that one, we used the Arduino to do a lot of cool and fun things like building a robot towards the end of the semester where we had it just like walk around, make sure not to hit any obstacles. And we had it play the Imperial March, uh, which was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I didn't know how to program it because at that time I didn't know how to code, uh, but my lab partner did. So he handled all the, all the software stuff and I handled all the hardware. I had to put together the things with the Arduino and he just coded up the things. So we were a good a good duo. So on the research front, I wasn't doing any research, but I knew of the REUs, um, uh, which are the research experience for undergraduate programs. And uh, I was preparing my application and I submitted it. I got two letters of reference. And I, I think I probably went with uh, eight applications if, if my memory did not fail me. And looking back, I think I should have applied for more because I know these things are very competitive. Um, but yeah, by this time I had applied to REUs and uh, I had not known the answer. You know, you don't know until the, uh, the March, maybe, you know, February through April of the winter semester. So by now I hadn't known if I had gotten one or not, but I did apply, which everyone should, if they can, you should definitely apply to REUs. Uh, they're a great way of doing research during the summer and they're paid. All right, so then we enter into the winter semester and the first course here was anthropology. Uh, we learned just the, the foundations, the basics of anthropology. I, I still remember there are four uh, key areas of anthropology and let me see if I can remember them. There's um, cultural anthropology, there's, uh, let's see, what is it? Um, there's, come on, I can do this. There's, I think it's like A, B, C. So the C is cultural, B is probably biological. Um, and A, no, A is archaeology. Wow, I'm terrible at this. Tells you how much I learned in the course. But anyway, that course I thought was pretty boring. We had a two and a half hour lecture and uh, most of it was just, you know, not, not any interesting discussion. It was just maybe reading some things or the lecturer going on and on about a particular thing. So it was, it put me to sleep. I'll be honest, um, I did not enjoy it at all. But on the other hand, uh, the other course I took was C++, which was a tremendous course. Uh, one of the best courses uh, probably that was useful in my undergraduate career because it was the first step in me learning how to code. It was uh, in, a, in, a, in a course setting, which means I had to do homework. So I had to do projects instead of, you know, if you're learning to code by yourself, you need that motivation to actually do some problems, uh, which is not there. But if you're taking a course, then you have to do those problems, which means you're going to practice doing coding, which is great. So this course, C++, it was fantastic. I learned a lot uh, all the way from nothing, you know, not knowing how to code all the way up to uh, polymorphism and, um, you know, that's the thing you learn after you learn about classes and stuff. So it was a fantastic course, uh, and I'll tell you how it, it pops up later on. But so let me move on to another course, which is differential equations. Um, I don't think I have to tell you how important differential equations are to a physics major. Uh, Newton's second law, that's a differential equation. Uh, the Einstein field equations, those are differential equations. Um, you have uh, the heat equation, that's a differential equation. You have Schrodinger's equation, that's a differential equation. The Dirac equation, that's a differential equation. Maxwell's equations, those are differential equations. I can go on and on about how physics is basically all differential equations. So this class um, is highly, highly important. Every physics major has to take it. I took it, I really enjoyed it. I was actively participating in it. And the professor really liked how much I was participating that he had uh, some extra funding laying around and he just tell, he told me, uh, hey, Ibrahim, do you want to do some research with me? And so I, tell, I told him, yeah, yeah, that sounds fantastic. I would like to do research with you. So that was um, a cool opportunity that just came up by um, just by being active in a course. And the professor just like he liked that I was being active and he approached me and offered me this, this research opportunity. Now on the physics side, which is perhaps the most important, I only had to take one course, which is kind of sad. But it was an optics course, a really fun course. You learned a lot about how to use electrodynamics to understand light as first an electromagnetic wave. Later on, you can do geometric optics. Um, 
And, but the thing is, I took this course and it was mainly geared towards biophysics, uh, but it was still a lot of, a lot of useful information for physics majors. Uh, it would have been much better if I would taken it after taking electrodynamics. That would have made it a lot easier to understand. Uh, but at the same time, it was sort of a precursor to some electrodynamics things, uh, which was not bad. And this optics course was uh, coupled with an optics lab. And there you did some standard experiments like uh, measuring the Gaussian profile of a laser beam or measuring some ind indices of refraction of different materials and, you know, the basics. All right, so halfway through the semester, um, I got some great news. So I previously mentioned that I applied to RUs in the fall semester. And halfway through the winter semester, I got an email from Michigan State and they told me that I was accepted to the RU. And that was just fantastic news because now I can do research in the summer and uh, I was gonna get paid for it. So that was tremendous news. And at the same time, I ended up using C++ in my research during the RU. So taking that course was just, just uh, at the right time because it came in handy in the summer, uh, I had to use C++. So after this video, I'll probably make the RU video before doing my junior year, because that would make more sense in, in a sequential uh, logic rather than just doing the whole thing first and jumping back and telling you about the RU. So overall, the winter semester was not very physics heavy, but it did, it did have a CS portion, computer science, it did have differential equations, did have optics. So there was a lot of physics plus math plus computer science that was going on and then some gen eds on the side, general education. There's one more course that I forgot about, which was the history of Islamic empires. And that goes through all the various empires that existed in the region from around 700 CE to around uh, roughly 1300 or the rise of the Ottomans, uh, if I got that right. So looking back at the year, trying to review it, I think I did the right thing of applying to REUs early and uh, just getting those applications in. Uh, at the same time, I put a lot of effort into the coding class, and that uh, helps a lot for a physicist, especially if you're doing research. Um, I was hoping that I would take more physics courses, but the way the curriculum was set up at Wayne State does not allow one to take, say, mechanics or quantum before you take these courses. So I just had to follow whatever curriculum was in place. Um, on the math side, on the other hand, I had linear algebra and differential equations. At the same time, I, I was hoping of taking some higher level classes, but that is gonna happen in junior year. So stick around to the next videos to find out how I ended up taking more and more math classes and I ended up double majoring in physics and math. So like I said, I'll probably do the RU video first, then I'll do the junior year video, then the senior year video. Uh, please let me know in the comments what courses uh, you're taking or have taken in your sophomore year. And uh, I'll make a video on the RU. I'll tell you how to apply, what my experiences were, and as always, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you next time.